Controlled Demolition Incorporated has stripped down a structurally reinforced rocket tower and turned it into a skeletal shell of its former self. In the morning, the crew will learn if their painstaking preparations are enough to bring the tower down safely. It's shot day. Copy that. It's getting real emotional. It's getting real close, so. Um, it's kind of going to miss her, but she's kind of been a real big pain. I guess it's kind of like anything. You know, just, the more you love them, the more you got to hate them. Ray, Stacy, and Kevin spread out across the tower, performing last minute inspections. It's their last chance to check 30 days of preparation. They inspect each dead cord connection and explosive placement. Almost immediately, uh, Stacy finds a mistake. One of the explosives is not connected to the implosion sequence. You can actually see it from here. Ray fixes it and triple checks the line to be sure there aren't any other errors. Walk it again for the 50th time. Everything looks good. The demolition team commences their final preparations. They hook up the debt cord to the initiation box. Kevin will trigger the tower's implosion from a shelter 305 meters away. T minus 10 minutes to implosion. The media line up along the security perimeter. Patrick Air Force Base's Brigadier General, Susan Helms, arrives to watch over the demolition. The number one thing here is public safety, and anybody that is not directly involved with the operation is public. So what we do is we establish boundaries and maintain them. Air Force Base security locks down the exclusion zone. Avoid, all clear. Roger. Kevin ahead, up. takes up his position. The tower is a hair trigger away from annihilation. All right, we're hooked up. Okay, here we go, Stacy. 